So now Ant Samuel Publishing and also AR Written Entertainment, two companies you started in 2015, man. Talk about that. What, what was that like? Uh, and what made you do it? What was the inspiration behind it? The inspiration was I had some scripts and stuff done. And I'm like, mm. I'm going to become a self-published author. You yeah. know, I always doubted myself. I said, I can't do that. I can't do all of this. I'm like, I can do it. Yeah. So um, I actually said, I'm going to release some books. I self-published and register Ant Samuel Publishing. Yeah. Uh, where I do short films and uh, books, self-published books. AR Written Entertainment is actually me and my business partner, mm-hmm. business, so I co-own. Yeah. We both worked at Beaumont and left at the same time. <laughs> we said really? we're going to actually step out on faith and leave and do it. And that's mm. when we premiered our stage play, Hear My Cry is the Play, in wow. 2016. Wow. Sold out two theaters. Wow. We couldn't even do it. Like, we didn't think we can do it. Yeah. Faith took us there. But, like, working with her and us working together, we got so much in store for life. But, again, we, we thought about budget. We thought about, hey. We lost the faith for a minute, but now we're back. We're ready. Mm-hmm. So me and her stepped out on faith, and that's where AR Written Entertainment came from. Wow, Our man. first that's film and play. Yep. Yeah, that's so different, man. What, what, if you don't mind, just if you could list off all of you know what you've created, if it's a book, movie. I know you said Hear My Cries, released that first. Was there any other projects that you wanted to mention or spotlight while yep. you're here? Hear My Cries, uh, the stage play, okay. 2016. Hear My Cries, the movie. Um, mm. I got we got a couple of scripts done now that we're yeah. gonna release, um, and then um, what is my book? Uh, Motivational Talk is one book. Mm. Home Ownership with the Dancing Realtor is the second book, mm. and then if not now, then when? Which yeah. teaches people if you don't jump now, then when? Because we wait, 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 and wait. Yeah. And then um, I got two more books coming out in okay. May, but I'm not gonna say the okay. name because they well, watch. That's cool. Can you but tell me coming. anything about it? Can you tell me anything about it? One is about men. Okay. <laughs> me and Sean, there we go with that again. Because I, I feel like it. we got to be vulnerable. It. We never, yeah, yeah, yeah. we never, and women don't allow us to be vulnerable. It's like, yeah. oh, okay, what are you whining for? What is this? What mm-hmm. is this? We always on guard. But that book lets you be like, let me put my guard down. Let me tell you what we really go through. Like, yeah. sometimes we get tired. Mm-hmm. So I, I released it in that book. Now I ain't got to keep saying it. Now yeah. I'm with that. Yeah. Um, no, I respect it though, man, because that, that is a big thing. That is a big thing. Another book is about relationships. Because mm. it, it, it's, it's pissing the water now, so, you know. Yeah. Oh, man. It's, it's a big topic so now. It's just, yeah. yeah. So that book is just going to be, yeah. Man, that's Crazy. awesome. I respect that. So tell me, man, where do you find the time? You created scripts, and you said you said this. You said this. You said I I already had scripts completed. Now dog breeding, we already touched that. Yeah, yeah. Taxes, we touched that. Also, too, you were working at Beaumont. You were also doing two other side hustles, I believe. Right. The bank. Where did you squeeze in the time to start working on scripts, working on books? Like, we're, we're... I get to ask that a lot. Well, you got to make time for it. Yeah. Something that you really want, you got to make time for. It. So when I really activated my faith that's when i made time for it. like now if i'm when i leave here if i drive and something sparked from a conversation i can write a whole script i have to pull over yeah. the notes and get to writing the script god will just give me something like that yeah there's a lot of stuff is reality a lot of stuff you gotta it. write about yeah um so that I, I make the time like i do real estate you know i get up go to the gym at five do real estate um and then taxes now until april 15th thank god yeah and then yeah. um you know, I do the scripts. So even at night, some nights I stay up all night. Some mm. night from 10 to 3, I do scripts. Mm. So it just depends on you got to make the time. Because if not, the richest place, you know where the richest place is? The graveyard. There you go. Yeah. And I don't. I, I, that would be my biggest regret to have all this completed. Not have it filmed or no books released that can help somebody. Yeah. Or teach somebody something and they just land there with me. Yeah. That's awesome. And what do you like most? I know you're also an actor too as well. Writer, producer. What do you like most, man? Acting, writing, or producing? I like acting. Really? It's cool. Some of it is challenging, depending on your character in the yeah. script. You're like, okay, can I do that? But it pulls more out of you. It shows you, like, I can do this. It teaches you um, another side of somebody else. So mm. I like the acting, and I like the directing, because it's your script or what you see, your vision. Everybody sees something different. But to be like, hey, let's put the, the lamp there, or, hey, I need you to lay this way. Let me mm. do this. It, it The directing is cool, too. The yeah. writing. The film part, the camera. You got to make sure you with the camera guy, though. Yeah. You got to make sure. So it all play. Matter of fact, it all play together. Yeah. Because if you're doing it, you got to make sure that you're watching the camera guy. Because this is your baby that's you on birth. Mm-hmm. You got to make sure the audio is good. A lot of stuff behind the scenes people don't see. They see the actual film. But everything that goes into it, you got to oversee it all. Yeah. The scripts, the writing, the display, the set. It's mm-hmm. so, a lot of work. That's a lot yeah. of work. But it's, what are you about to say? It's worth it. It's worth it. It's worth it. Yeah. Wow. Was there what? What drew you to, to film? Just to you know, 
Well, uh, in COVID, we was in COVID, and we were going to bring the stage play back, actually. Mm. And then we were rehearsing on Zoom. We like, okay, well, cool. We got this. Yeah. And then uh, they shut everything down. We were going to go to the Northwest Activity Center. We booked the date. Yeah. We're like, no, everything was shut down. So we're like, no, we're not going to just let this stop. We've been putting in months of work. Mm-hmm. So we're like, okay, cool. We did all the tests, and we actually turned it into a film. Wow. That's where the first film came at. Nice. Nice. Like we what was that like stuff. doing working on that during COVID? That had to be crazy. It was crazy. Yeah. It was a headache. It was fun. It was mm-hmm. everything. You're like, it's my last time here. You, you just had yeah. a lot going on, but it was cool. Yeah. You know, it was a lot of work. What would you say is the biggest misconception about the entertainment business? Hmm. That you're rich. Mm. You make a lot of money. <laughs> that's what they think yeah. you make a lot of money it goes on the streams it goes on the yeah, support yeah. Yeah. it goes on the theaters a lot of people are like hey you got your film in a theater you're making a lot of money you have to pay a, the theater percentage too yeah so if you go to some of the high ends they want eight thousand dollars a screen yeah so you got to pay money to make money mm-hmm. in the ticket sale you know your cousins let me get one for 20 you right. got to make the money they don't understand right, that so right. that's the biggest mis- misconception is that oh you did it you made it it's yeah. always a growing process. You always got to make more money. So Yeah. How is working on movies, books, how has that taught you more about life? I actually write from experience or mm. um, fictional. It, it, it's taught me that no matter what, everybody's yeah. going through something. Mm. It's taught me everybody's going through something. Yeah. Because a script you can write one day, you know, maybe something in your head or something you've seen or something you're familiar with, and you just write and say, hey, I'm just going to stash. Like I told you, something done. If mm. I don't get it out here. Sometimes you get people in the crowd that'll save their life. They mm. may be going through that same exact thing there. But again, it teach you about people. You never know your audience. Yeah. Right. What's something you learned about publishing since becoming an author? Yeah, you have to learn a lot. Copyright, mm. um, book formatting, um, mm-hmm. editing. It's a yeah. lot you got to learn. Um, doing the business the right way, opening up account, self published when to release the right date. Yeah. trailers it's a lot that you got to learn you can't just drop a book book signing mm-hmm. it's a lot that you have to put into it so i yeah. learned um a lot and just write from experience or write what you want because mm-hmm. you're gonna get a lot of people that feel like you should write what they want but you don't know what people want you to write about yeah you're writing yeah. about experience or something you know or something that's going to help somebody so you can't yeah. satisfy everybody